Imagine a world where breakfast becomes a battleground. Each sunrise gives birth to a war, played out in kitchens across the globe, a conflict fought over our most cherished routine, breakfast. It is a stage where innocent bowls of cereal, so seemingly harmless and delightful, engage in a subtle battle against your health. The clash begins with the inviting crunch of the cereal, the colorful box boasting of wholesome nutrition. But in reality, each bowl is nothing more than a sugary minefield, lurking with hidden dangers and masked villains. The sweet, comforting taste fooling your taste buds into a sense of security while the sugar content slowly but surely works its destructive magic inside your system. A spoonful, you may ask? It may seem like a simple act, but it is in fact an invitation to a dance with synthetic ingredients, artificial flavorings and an abyss of empty calories. It's a dance of deception, one that promises satisfaction but delivers adversity. The consequences are grave and far-reaching. Childhood obesity isn't just an alarming term, but a real and growing problem, a side effect of our times. The sugar-laden breakfasts have made our children vulnerable to insulin resistance. It's not about fitting into societal standards of beauty, but about a fight against the silent killers, diabetes, heart diseases, and a myriad other health complications. And then, there's the most immediate and noticeable fallout, a struggle to concentrate in school. As their systems grapple with the sugar onslaught, our children's cognitive abilities take a hit. Their focus dwindles, their energy levels crash, and their academic performance suffers. But amidst this grim reality, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon. It's a return to our roots, to the ways of our ancestors. The carnivore diet, beef, butter, bacon and eggs, a symphony of protein, fat and vital nutrients, harmonizing to play a powerful tune of health and well-being. This diet isn't just a passing fad, it's a substantial proven solution to the sugar-laden crisis that lurks in the breakfast bowls of our children. Instead of feeding them sweetened, processed foods, we can introduce them to a world of natural, nutrient-dense delights. It's about making them realize the taste of real food, the joy of home cooking, and the satisfaction of a full, well-nourished belly. This is no fairy tale, but a wake-up call. It's time to break away from the shackles of convenient, ready-to-eat meals and embrace the joy of real food. It's time to take charge of our children's health and well-being and pledge to make their future a healthier one. The home a setting for this silent epidemic could also be the place where it ends. With a little effort and a lot of love, we can transform our kitchens into sanctuaries of health and wellness. So next time you reach for that box of cereal, remember the breakfast table can be more dangerous than you've ever imagined. Perhaps some healthy eggs cooked in butter with a side of bacon. Our kids deserve a proper start to the day.